So we're in Dublin, in the Raw Gym, which means one thing. Whoosh. Yo, we are back everyone. So, how long? It was like not too long ago. We made a promise. I was supposed to be coming back earlier, but somebody wanted to go to a beater instead. <laughs> hey. Guilty. Can't, can't blame the boy, can't yeah, blame yeah. the boy. Because we're back here training with Raw, but we're not done yet. Because we've got one more face to show you. He's known throughout the lands as the Mocha Machine, and it is... <laughs> <laughs> it's What's Mr. Guys? The Man! <laughs> so this is a new face that you might not have seen who's a member of the new... Crew. The new Beyond the Block. The new Beyond the Block crew. <laughs> so whenever we're together, when we can get everyone down, we have developed this nice little family of fun. I'm going to lift some iron and there's a lovely Lisa in the background. So let's not leave Lisa out. Hello. Hello. Follow us on the face. There she is. He belongs to him. Don't. No, boys. No. <laughs> Watching that, we're monitoring no comment. the comment section, no comment. okay? Like, I'm stood. I'm Watch stood. Watch trolls. <laughs> uh, look how big he is. I'm stood 30 feet in front of him right now. 30 feet away I am. <laughs> Pre-workout is going to be a scone, jam, butter, which is just fats. All right. So it's one, two, three, let's do it. gym time. Right, let's go. So we're down by the racks. This is how we're going to run it. We're going to be training alongside each other. We're going to be hitting up with a bit of a motivational edit. It's going to be coming your way. But in between each of those, we're going to be flashing out and we're going to be giving you our top tips for each of the movements that we're going to be doing on how we like to do them, how we like to add a little twist, a little something that makes that a little bit special. Rob on a countdown of three, two, one. The thing about this is, it really isolates the back, so you don't really use any momentum, so no swinging. When you do a barbell row and you're standing up, you can find that as it gets a little bit harder. You'll sort of jolt with the knees and you'll pull in something like this. Come up, sort of jump with the movement. With that, your back straight. You're isolating the mid to lower traps and you're just having to pull and squeeze. That's what I love about it. Much harder, the weight will be much less with dumbbells, but you'll find a much better stretch, much better contraction, and overall, much better back development from using this one. Sweet. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Say it, come on, dig. That's it, that's the one. I'm gonna reach for the stars, I'm gonna reach to go far you already know, I've had a couple of the scars They remind us who we are Take me away, off to a much better place Off to a much better state Take me away, how to see out of this space How to see out of this place Oh yeah, now wouldn't that be nice And when you need to revive Just take a deep look inside now put your hands up high like you ain't coming down Go on and touch the sky, get your feet off the ground Now put your hands up high like you ain't coming down Go on and touch the sky, get your feet off the ground so, Tips for the lat pull down uh, Have big lats and look sick <laughs> Wait, uh, No, so uh, I was just trying out a few kind of different variations of grips Oftentimes when you go a little bit closer here your biceps get involved a lot and then there's actually it's kind of like a hook grip so you reach outside here you really take a little stretch like that, and you can really kind of concentrate on the lats they've actually got i think you've seen them have you ever seen mag grips you know those things oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mag grip. so that's kind of like this is like my homemade version of a mag grip In a wreck and I give it all back to the people who lack Got me on fleek, no you got me on flack Start all the beef then you take it all back Didn't believe, now you see me on track Keep up with me cause I never look back Used to know me but I'm not like my past Reinvent me like you wish that you had Let's go, I just wanna touch the sky West coast, I just wanna feel alive I know, the way I wanna feel inside and I go We got a little bit carried away at this point And forgot to keep filming So here's my quick tip for the rear delts Turn those knuckles over towards the back of the wall So that when you come over, point this towards the wall Don't pull through limp wristed. If you're on the reverse fly deck, fly deck, peck deck, whatever deck, make sure that you're keeping your elbows high and pulling through from the elbows. Forget about your hands. These are just meat hooks. Grip, 
pull from the elbows. Make sure that you relax your neck. That means don't do in this, because that's going to make you pitch your neck, which is going to make you use your traps. Relax your neck, that relaxes your traps. Pull through with those rear delts. If you're liking this video so far, hit that thumbs up. Let's crack on with the rest of the video. Go! We got the tips on the chest press. Um, chest press, tuck your elbows. Yo. Don't press like this. So we're keeping the shoulders down, tucking the elbows, and we're going to be driving through with the palms facing the wall in front of you. Come Let's in. get it. Let's get it. Go. Come on. Ow. Easy. Ow. Come down. Come down. We got five more in. Come on. Five. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Five. Ow. Four. Ow. Three. Ow. Two. Ow. Two. Ow. Let's go. Set. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. What's up? It is now quarter to one in the morning. We have finished the training session, been back to the Five, hotel. No. <laughs> Look, even my hair's giving up on life right now. Got lost. Spent a good random round trip in the car with Rob. Yeah, half hour in the car. Went to yeah. the wrong, got, tried to get dropped off at the wrong hotel. <laughs> now we're back. And we're going to finish this up with a little bit of a Q&A yeah. with Romaine. Romaine is the name. The Mocha Machine. <laughs> Remember this. Make it stick. Go on his Instagram profile now and just go Mocha Machine, Mocha Machine. Go. It links in the description. But we're going to finish with a little bit of a Q&A because you guys like these things. New faces, new things to learn. Quick breakdown. You yeah. are a competitive bodybuilder. Yes. In which class? Men's physique slash classic physique. The best ones. So I have been. Yeah. <laughs> so I started off my journey in men's physique, and I'm transitioning at the moment to classic physique. But I'm still not retired from men's physique fully. So I, so I may still continue with that journey and transition into classic over time. So my one question would be, and I think a lot of people would like to know, what was yeah. been, what were your top tips really for being question. a bodybuilder that is successful on Instagram? Wow, that's a, that's a good one. I think for a bodybuilder to be successful on Instagram, you need to be passionate and good at being a bodybuilder anyway because yeah. there's a market for everything so I'm primarily men's physique I would say until this point yeah and I think that men's physique are kind of like little bodybuilders but without all the mass yeah so a lot of them will kind of pull the same sort of poses but because it's they're a lot smaller it's not as aggressive as if they were yeah. really big so aiming for that that, that more classic looking about. physique yeah is a, immediately a bit more attractive yeah I'll give you that one that's yeah. cool but yeah let me rephrase it a little bit so I had this, it's because it's quarter to one in the morning. Struggling. My brain's going, Do you know what, Lex, you're on your own. You're on your own. <laughs> Just needed cranking up, that's all it was. Here it is. So, obviously, there's a lot of guys who want to go into the gym and do that kind of more classic built physique. So we're creating those sculpts, which I, I love. I like that that's all coming back. How would you best say for them to start out enjoying doing the bodybuilding, but also create that social profile at the same time? Because a lot of it's difficult. People are trying to get themselves out there as a bodybuilder, which isn't that appealing to a lot of kind of uh, people and companies as much anymore as yep. that more social influencer who has like more lifestyle yes. things. But you've managed to take a very niche marketplace like a bodybuilding yeah. and bang it into a more of a lifestyle kind of view. So social media. How to start your that. social media? Yeah. Knowing you want to be a bodybuilder, but you yep. also want to be on social media. I honestly think nowadays there is such a big market for bodybuilding like those niche yeah there's a lot of people in that niche yeah and i think that if you are a bodybuilder or a classic you can be successful on social media but it's just yeah. it's just the kind of way that you go about it um i think the nowadays and what's the way that you found of going about things that have been best for you having in a terms of, yeah i mean like, like uh, putting a personality onto it showing yeah. you definitely show like your travel yeah, with yeah. more of your actual yeah. life in yeah. there yeah but incorporating obviously the way physique absolutely yeah. i mean everyone's going to go in the gym and be a beast and that's what everybody does yeah and, and how do you separate yourself from that other dude that looks good personality 
yeah and story that's it's right, like yeah. um, everyone loves a story like uh, something to relate to something to be able to follow yeah a little bit so yeah. some of this outside of gym life so incorporating what you do is fundamentally training and diet and it's bodybuilding right yeah, yeah, yeah. but an aspect about that that's different about you you don't have to try for that so for me i've got the relationship with me and lisa that has yeah. just gone from strength over the years we pretty much got together when we first started on Instagram. So everyone on Instagram knows us both, they sort of they follow us through our holidays, yeah, through our engagement, related to related our wedding. wedding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, I also had a, uh, a foot injury where I, also had my, I almost had my foot amp amputated. Sorry, I'm struggling with my words. <laughs> so late. <laughs> so late. I had an infection in my foot and almost had my foot amputated. So my OG followers would have seen me winning all these shows, going into hospital, being told I would probably never walk again or compete again. To then coming back and becoming an IFBB pro, so that was a story that people were able to follow through that, and I, and I think that's how you differentiate yourself. A couple of years ago, as, as, as you'll be able to relate to, all you have to do is be shredded on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Get some shredded pictures, and you 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 get posted on simply shredded, yeah. maybe, and you might gain like ten thousand followers. Simply shredded, you know? Do you remember that? Oh, right? God, um, I remember being on that yeah. and being like, oh yeah, simply yeah. shredded. Yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, and now everyone's like, simply what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people are still they still think it's that world but it's evolved now yeah. and it's the people who are not as shredded but have got these personalities so much more to give they're getting more followers than other people like yeah. the people like uh, you know who just do something different that brings their personality across in a different sort of way yeah. I think that's the most think important we, thing. This is one of the things we've discussed like on personal levels whilst we've been here as well because obviously when we get together we discuss little ideas and all things like that and um, so the reason it's a bit weird is we bounced this on a bag because we were too tired to remember to bring the tripod down. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to who you are when you're on social media um, and it might not be what the trend is at the time but if you stick with who you are and be truthful about what you do and who you are that will inevitably come through yeah. to the people following you yeah. and we, we've said that about and everyone we meet who we tend to bond with and like like this is the first time yeah, we've, we've met, met together yeah. and we've just <laughs> banged and chilled out all day been trained it's like we've known each other it honestly feels like we've known yeah. each other forever yes, and yeah. absolute age um and when you start when you are really like that and people see you on social and then meet you in real life if that matches up then yeah, you use that, that double whammy and that's yeah. what really really works yeah so yeah. i think that's the two things yeah. listen you vacuum yeah. You vacuum like a Dyson. <laughs> <laughs> Dyson ain't got shit. Fucking fucking Dyson ain't got shit on this vacuum. I'm gonna put a post a picture up now. That is pretty freaking impressive. So back to me. What would be your number one tips? Have you did you were you always able to do this? And even if you were able to, what have you found that's helped you able to create that now iconic pose? Because I think it's coming back in a big way. Not only that, it's if you, if you're able to control your midsection like that to be able to do that, it's a it's a huge thing to be able to train yourself to do because it's going to benefit your whole core yeah. structure, strength, yeah, 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 and, yeah. and stability to create that mountain muscle. So, what are your top tips for creating perfect vacuum? Practice a lot. Practice every single day. Um, I was always able to vacuum from pretty much when I was a child. I can remember being six years old, seven years old. I'm chasing my sister, scaring her with the vacuum. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. <laughs> but I could just do it, and it was Sorry. it was a party trick, really. Yeah. yeah. Um, but now I know it's obviously for yeah. a purpose. It was, you know, everything was meant to be in that. But I still practice now so, so I can hold it longer and so I can also make it deeper. So when you're pulling it in, yep. are you thinking about pulling the abs in and up whilst you exhale? Or do exhale you, first. You exhale you first. All the air out as much as you possibly can so there's yeah. nothing inside you. And then you pull up. You pull as strange as it in sounds. and up on the yes. like this motion, yeah. in and up yeah. under the rib cage. Yeah. yeah, in and up. So and it's it's I mean it's 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 hard to do and when you start off doing it, because I taught Lisa how to do it pretty much, um, and she can do like a little one, but the more that she practices, the deeper it gets yeah. as well. So yeah. even if you can't do it very well, keep on practicing because it's the strength of the like internal abdominal wall yeah. that gets stronger and stronger for, for, for pulling it in. Um, and I started practicing three times three seconds on an empty stomach in the morning. Three times three seconds? Holds. That's it, only three seconds? Yeah, yeah, but then I just worked up and now I do about 10 times 10 seconds. Every morning. Hold every single morning on an empty stomach. Um, before food or water is the best time to do it because you're empty. And are you doing this with your hands on anything or are you stood straight up? There's three main ways of doing it. Um, the easiest way is on all fours. So elbows or hands and knees. And then you just relax your stomach out and then you breathe and you push all the air out and then you breathe it in. And that's yeah. the easiest way to do it. Um, standing up and hands on your knees is a little bit harder. And standing up straight is even harder. So now I'll do it 
completely standing up and holding them in. And that's yeah. the hardest way to do a vacuum. Yeah, 100%. And, yeah, and you will find if you're on the wall four, it's much easier to, to do it and put it in. Awesome. Yeah. There you go. So that's it. That's it. That is your top tips for becoming a lovely social meeting, bodybuilding, mocha machining, <laughs> Dyson defeating Romaine. <laughs> You'll find all these links in the description below. We are hoping to do a lot more together in the near future. Definitely. We have some serious things planned. We told you, fuck the algorithm. Hashtag fuck that algorithm. We're bringing it back to the old school, bringing people together and showing you new faces, old faces, and just the love that there really is behind the scenes in this fitness industry still. It's not all commercialized, it's not all bastardized. I promise you, there's good people out there like this man that can help you, and hopefully we'll be doing it as a group. Another big shout out to Rob for also hooking us up with the gym as today. Always fun to see that boy. And again, together we're going to come back and do something with Rob great. very soon. Yeah. Absolute pleasure, my man. Cheers, man. So Thank until you. the next one, this is Lex. Remain. There's a lovely little Lisa behind the camera <laughs> just checking away there. We'll catch you next video. Peace. We out.